Hi everyone and Happy New Year! Today I'm going to plant two climbing roses. So today I'm at Home Depot looking for some climbing roses so I can grow them along my front yard garden trellis. And look what I found! It's the Eden Climbing Rose and it's only $14.98. I'm going to need two of them to grow over my archway, so I'm thinking I'm going to give these a try. I've heard so many wonderful things about them, so I'm very excited that they have them here at Home Depot. So I picked out my two roses, and I'm looking for three good quality canes. So there's one, two, and three. I will probably prune this one off. Looks like it's... oh. I didn't even have to prune it. There we go. That was not meant to be there. So one, two, three, and we have another good one, two, and I'll prune one of these off and leave three. So I'm really happy with these two Eden climbing roses. Time to take them home and plant them up. As I'm leaving the store, I found some more roses over here and look at this climbing Eden. It only has two canes, but they're absolutely huge. So I'm thinking I'm going to get this one instead. This one has a lot of canes on it, but those two canes are really, really big. So I think I'm going to switch it out for this one instead. So those are my two selections. This one with the two thick canes and this one with the nice three thick canes. So the crazy thing is, this one was actually cheaper. This one was only $12.98, whereas this one was $14. Maybe because it only has two canes, but I actually like the way that one looks anyway. So this all worked out for the best. And of course, I got a new pruner as well. I go through these things probably at least one a year. I'm really hard on my pruners. Nothing like a fresh new pruner. And before I go home, I always put my roses on their sides because they're gonna end up falling over on the ride home anyway. So this way it doesn't break any canes. I just put them on their side nicely. So their canes won't get destroyed. I'm home now and this is the area where I'm gonna plant my roses. I have this beautiful metal and very rusty archway that I'm planning to grow up it. One on this side, all the way around, and one on the other side. And because I live next door to an apartment building with a parking lot, I think the roses will give this area just a little bit more privacy and beautify it a little bit so you don't notice what's next door as much. So I'm gonna plant one right here and I'll put the other one on the other side. And the interesting thing about climbing roses is you wanna train the canes to go sideways because the roses grow up from the sideways canes. If the canes were just to grow up, you wouldn't get as many. This is not like a regular upright rose. These canes definitely need to be sideways. Also, when buying bare root roses, if you notice, some of the canes have this waxy coating on them. That's okay and that's completely normal. This protects the cane from the weather or stress and it keeps them hydrated during transportation from the growers to the nursery. If it bothers you, you can remove it. Just simply prune off the top and it should just crack right off or you can just kind of pick at it. See, that comes right off. If you do decide to remove it, be very careful that you don't scratch the cane because you don't want to damage the cane. That's the whole point of this wax is to protect it. So for me, I just leave it on and let it come off while it's on. Now I'm going to unbox it and get it out. Now, if you notice, this rose is already in dirt. Had it been bare root in a bag, I probably would have soaked it in a bucket of water for a while just to hydrate it. But this looks like it's already been kept nice and moist. So I can just pop this right in the ground right now. I'm gonna dig the hole about one foot deep and about a foot and a half wide. Look at how nice and loose this soil is. This is why I always keep leaves in my garden. Nice, loose, loomy soil. 
the rose is going to be very happy here. Now when I put this in the ground, I want to make sure that the soil level is right at the bud union. Some people like to bury it, some people like to have the soil level here. I guess it all depends on your garden zone and where you are. So I'm going to stick with the middle, a happy medium. I'm just going to put the soil level right up to the bud union, but not bury it. Step around it and get it in there nice. Because my soil is so amazing, I didn't really have to add anything to it. If you don't have good soil, you could use two parts of topsoil and one part of peat moss to make the soil nice and rich for your new rose. Okay, time to plant the second one. Now, in case you're wondering, I did not put any fertilizer in the first rose. Bare root roses or new roses like this don't need any fertilizer. In fact, it's really important that you don't give it anything until after you see new growth in the spring. Yes, this does have new growth now, but we still have a lot of cold weather and I do not want to encourage this rose to grow right now. So I'm gonna hold off on all fertilizer until the weather warms up and I know it's gonna start growing and bloom. So no fertilizer until spring. And look at these nice roots. This already has a nice root system, so I'm really happy about that. just gonna backfill it with this nice dirt and if you see a bunch of roots in your garden that's okay these all decomposed Ooh, actually I think this might be a clematis root I'm gonna go replant this somewhere in my garden what a nice little surprise I'm definitely gonna save that I did have a clematis growing here last year but it just gets way too much Sun and it didn't do well but I'm happy that I found that. So yeah, roses also require a lot of sun. Six to eight hours of sun a day is best in order for it to bloom well. If your rose doesn't get enough sun, what happens is it becomes very leggy, searching for sun and you won't have as many blooms. So the more sun for a rose, the better. Okay, so I got my roses in the ground. Now it's just a matter of waiting for spring so I can enjoy seeing them grow. However, in case you're wondering is, what's so special about this Eden climbing rose? I know you've heard of them just like I did. And why am I so excited that I found them at Home Depot? Here's why. First, the reason why I'm super excited that I found them at Home Depot is because normally these roses can cost like $65 each. I kid you not. The cheapest I've seen them was David Austin for $35, but then you're spending $20 just for the shipping and handling. So the fact that I found them at Home Depot for under $15 each was, a, I just consider it a blessing for me. Now, why did I want to plant these so badly? Well, just like you, I watch garden YouTube channels as well. And all, the, all my favorite gardening channels, they're always planting this rose. And I think they're absolutely beautiful. They make these huge pink old fashioned double blossoms and just the way they hang down and they're very prolific. They don't just put on a couple blooms, they put on a massive show. So because I've seen other gardeners growing them, I completely fell in love with this rose. In fact, I've been wanting to plant these roses for over a year, but paying that high price and shipping for them just wasn't in my budget. I'm sure the places that the other gardeners got them from, I think heirloom roses is it. They're excellent quality and I think it's wonderful. That just wasn't in my budget. So the fact that I found Eden climbing roses at Home Depot 
just made me super happy. Now I have to, and I'm super excited. Well, I hope you found this video fun and encouraging, and thank you so much for watching. And again, Happy New Year. Bye.